Hey YouTube, so I'm doing some more target shooting at 50 feet just because my range has a lot of snow on it. So I'm shooting my Diana Model 34 Panther and I decided to start off with the good pellets that uh, at least these four made in Europe. <clears throat> I'm not sure where uh, Hotsons are made. Oh, made in Argentina. But uh, let's go see how they did. This was sighting in. <clears throat> I should probably do another target with those. All right. <clears throat> I just got done shooting my second round of targets. And uh, these are my European and Argentinian pellets. And this is my American trash pellets. Let's go see how I did. Okay, so here are my results. These were the, this was the target I had to use to sight in because last time I shot the Model 34, I was shooting at a longer distance, this wall. So I shot over here with the Super Domes and easily a nickel group. Then the Hots and Strikes over here, not so, not great. Uh, the RWS Meister Cuglins. That's easily a nickel. Dime size group. Look at that. Then the Barracudas. They're a quarter. Can I get a nickel? I uh, almost a little sliver past a nickel. And then the JSB Exacts. Dime size group. This is the best results I've ever had with these. Um, I haven't shot them out of a lot of guns, but the the Panther seems to like them all right <clears throat> so then I, I i decided let's go put all the crossing pellets because the other day when i shot these out of the 362 i didn't really didn't really have that great of results but look at this now the heavies oh i can't oh, i can't use that unfortunately but yeah i can't use that either <laughs> all right so quarter size group out of the heavies but look at the piranhas Oh, come on. Can we do a dime? Look at that dime size group out of the piranhas. I got to show you these. I'm, I'm really impressed. They, they are so remarkably consistent in here. I, I Maybe just the shipping. These came with my drifter in the box. Maybe how they were shipped. They didn't get bounced around as much. I don't know. They're just a really consistent. Daisy wad cutters. I lost count. It doesn't matter. They're just not great. And then the domed. Domes weren't great either. Kind of, you know, quarter size group. I thought I thought these would do better. And then finally, so we have the hollow points, which are mean that they're the same pellet, <clears throat> as far as I can tell, just a little hole at them. And uh, that's a nickel. Uh, you could almost a little sliver past a dime size group. So, yeah, you know, um, weights, the heavier pellets. I don't know that it really, I don't know. It just, this gun is not particularly pellet picky. I mean, these are, aside from the wad cutters, um, these are all good groups and, Likely I could do better. It, it just uh, getting used to you know shooting this thing again. And what I am really impressed with, I, I haven't shot this thing in a while, and I've been shooting cheaper guns. And uh, you can really tell the quality of this gun. Just when you cock it, everything's so smooth, and, and then the trigger. Uh, it just it's just so so nice, and it works really well, and it's consistent. I. See if I um when I edit this I could put the what I paid for this gun. I think it came with the scope, maybe. I don't remember. It's an RWS 300 scope. I don't know what power it is. I think it might be a four power. 50 feet. You know, I couldn't zoom in really closely. Well, I can't zoom in at all. Um it worked fine, but I'm used to having more magnification. So I felt like I was a little at a little bit of a disadvantage, but wow, this gun is I forgot how nice it was, and uh, I just, 
really, really nice to shoot. So I think they've gone up in price, unfortunately. Otherwise, I think this is for the value. I think this is, I'll look at the price, but I, to me, this is one of the best value um, pellet guns you can get, I think, for the performance. I mean, I've been chasing my tail with some of the others. But you do have to shoot in a brake barrel. You do have the, you know, you have to get used to shooting a brake barrel. I was just, I just laid it right on here, and I didn't do anything special. Pneumatic is easier to shoot, I think, but this one, I wouldn't call this hard to shoot at all. It was, I can't fault it. It's just a great gun. Okay, so those are my results. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.